Just 10 miles from the Gulf of Alaska, the Wrangell St. Elias Mountains are the tallest coastal range in the world, and they are getting taller. In the St. Elias Range, there's very, very active mountain building going on. And so you have to be pushing those mountains up very fast in order to get that much rock that high, because erosion is always trying to tear things down. The mountains rise because of movements of the Earth's crust, which is made up of large masses called tectonic plates. Growth in the St. Elias Range is the result of a tectonic plate pushing against a small piece of the continent called the Yakutat Block. Under most of Alaska, the Pacific Plate is, is being pushed underneath the North American Plate. In this case, you've got basically a little piece of material that's kind of been shoved into the corner and doesn't want to go down. The force of this collision is what's building these mountains and what has built them over the last few million years. But the movement of tectonic plates causes more than mountain growth. Ocean trenches, volcanic activity, and earthquakes all occur along plate borders. To record earthquakes, you don't know when the earthquakes are going to be. You can't just put an, a seismometer out for a day or two and expect to record what you need. So you need to put it out for a long period of time. So what they're doing is they're putting a, what they call a vault, which is just kind of a fancy name for a yellow garbage can. The yellow garbage can vaults contain a seismometer that picks up vibrations from earthquakes. Using digital transmitters powered by the sun and wind, information travels to a satellite uplink. From there, data are uploaded to the internet so information is available to researchers around the world almost instantly. Already, they've had surprises. A few years ago, we found that after effects of the 1964 earthquake were still measurable today, that we still see motion of parts of the Earth that were tri was triggered by the 1964 earthquake. Never expected to see that 35 to 40 years after the earthquake. 